Hi, I'm Rich Smith from Simscape. I'd like to introduce you to Cadium, which is our integrated simulation environment for computational fluid dynamics, or CFD. So let's start the tour by starting up here in the top left corner where we have the tools palettes. And what you'll see here are tools that we use, for instance, on the geometry tool palette to create geometry such as primitives like boxes, cones, cylinders, various face and edge creation methods, uh, transforms, and then some Boolean operations. Next up, we have the physics tool palette, where we specify substances and various boundary conditions. And then we come to the results tool palette, where we can basically use these tools to create our results on our model. All these tools are used by dragging and dropping them either into view windows or plot or monitor windows. Next I'd like to draw your attention to the properties panel here in the bottom left corner of the Cadium application window. Here we provide access to the properties of any item that you can select in Cadium, such as a geometry entity, uh, a legend item, or a tool. And so, for instance, here we have some values for the simulation that are selected, uh, that's currently selected. Here, if we go up to the box geometry tool, you can see that and we have some properties that represent the shape of the box which we can just double click to edit and then press enter to confirm and there you have it next up we have the view windows and in this case we have one two three different views of the same model and within each window we can manipulate the camera such that we can view the model from various different angles or locations and in this case I'm spinning the model by using the left mouse button having made a selection and then pulled the mouse away from that point we get to spin the model around the left button is configured according to these the mode we have selected up here on the toolbar from pan zoom and select we also have a uh, pan connected to the middle mouse button. If you press that and then move the mouse, you get to pan the model. And then the scroll wheel on the mouse controls the level of zoom. The right button controls the selection. So you press that and you can move the mouse with the button still selected until you get what you want. And then once you release, you make the selection from the select dialog you can double click and then select properties and then you'll be shown the properties of that current selection over in the properties panel and in this case you get the view specific properties first and then you have the actual geometric properties next and simulation properties in this case of a wall Notice also we have a legend for each window, although in this window it's been hidden. Let's reveal that to show we still have it there, it's just to make it easier to see the model. Concentrating on this legend here, you can see then a color map across the width of the legend and then some slider bars that you can use to threshold against values that then trim out particular values within the model interactively. You can also see that we are using currently the color map is the velocity magnitude and we can select others from this list which then flip to be that other property other attribute and we don't have any arrows shown or else this property here would be activated. We also have properties associated with the color bar so if you click 
the color bar icon or text you get then in the properties panel the set of properties that affect this particular legend. Next up we have the plots and monitors which are very similar and each plot stroke monitor has various properties again associated with it. You select the plot or the monitor and over here in the properties panel you then get various properties that control the x-axis title, the range, the number of major tick marks etc and the same for the, the, the y-axis and each one of these plot stroke monitors then also has a legend and within the legend then you have these data series which when selected have properties that again show up in the properties panel such that you can control for instance the color of a given property and uh, you can control the line the symbol that's used and so on and also you can undo and redo multiple times within Cadium as I just showed there next up we have the status bar that runs along the bottom of the application here and in there while operations are performing you'll find feedback also we have tooltips for tools and properties that it will appear here as you can see up here we have the toolbar and you see some standard tools along the top here to start with uh, also we have undo and redo uh, set to as many levels as you want in the preferences uh, copy and paste standard and delete uh, then we have the toolbar we introduced earlier um, that controls the interaction of the left mouse button also we have fit all which works for the view windows and the plot and monitor windows also then we come on to the simulation control and here we have the ability to record simulations per uh, time step we can play the simulation we can step it backwards we can step it forwards we can set it back to the beginning we can jump to the end we can loop and we can also freeze the simulation such that we disconnect it from this control bar and then we can use the control bar for animations finally on the end here we have an indicator of whether the application is busy or not and we also have uh, an emergency stop which acts as an interrupt okay that brings us to the end of this introduction to Cadium if you want to find out more please come over to simscape.com and check out the tutorials on Cadium and the free trials thank you